today we'll be going to be fishing for 12 hours. Now we have actually done this before but today it is a little more interesting. First off, we have a mayor that boosts 50% of fishing XP and gives us a higher sea creature chance. Not only that, but we could make quite good money during the fishing festivals. Later in the video, I'll show you exactly how much money we made and how much XP did we end up getting. Now fishing is one of the worst skills out there in my opinion and doing it for 12 hours is quite painful. But you know what takes just seconds? Smashing the like button. First up, we'll actually use three different sets of armor during the 12 hours. The first set will be the basic one, which is the angler set. Next up is the salmon set, which only recently came out and it costs about 200,000 coins. And then finally, we'll also be using the shark set. Now this set is fairly expensive and currently goes for about 15 million coins on the auction house. Now before the 12 hour challenge actually begins, let's take a look at our current fishing skill XP level. And as you guys can see, right now it's only level 26, which is, uh, well, not too good. And it makes us 25,000 out of a little more than 4 million players. So in the beginning, we'll be actually using the angler set. And it's totally not because I didn't know that salmon set cost only 200,000 coins. But anyways, we were fishing for about 6 hours in that set. And uh, yeah, that's right. A little more than half of this time, which... Uh, it hurts a little bit, but during this time we managed to get quite a few water hydras and even emperors. Not only that, but there was this shark event that uh, we were able to attend, so we did end up getting quite a few shark tubes. But about 7 hours into the challenge, I realized that the salmon armor is extremely cheap, so I decided to go ahead and switch to that. So in those 7 hours, we managed to get a little over 900,000 XP meaning that each hour we got about 129,000 XP. Now, while this is not that much, about half a year ago, I was getting only about 60 to 70,000 XP per hour. So it's quite an increase. I mean, we went pretty much two times better. But anyways, now it's time to try out the Salmon set and see how much of a difference will it make. So during this time, we also got a spooky festival, which meant that we were able to fish up some monsters and get some candy. Now while we didn't get that much candy, it's still noteworthy and made fishing a little bit more fun I guess. We were fishing for about 3 hours with the salmon set and ended up leveling up from 26 to 27. In total we managed to get about 440,000 XP, meaning that each hour we got about 148,000 XP which is visibly higher and I'm not exactly sure if the spooky festival helped the result to be a little bit better because of the mob spawning etc etc but uh, anyways now we have 10 hours of fishing done and well now is the time to put on one of the best sets out there or at least uh, one of them because I am too broke for the diver set so here is the shark set initially I thought to actually buy it but then I asked on Discord and people actually told me not to do it. But Baden by Chaos told me I can borrow his set so uh, that's what we ended up doing. So that meant that the final 2 hours was gonna be the best final 2 hours. Not only that but also during the shark festival I ended up equipping the Megalodon pet which meant that our shark shed got a little bit of a boost. At the end of the 12 hours from all the shark festivals together, we did get quite a bit of shark tube. So I'm excited to see how much extra money we're going to be making during this challenge. But how much XP did we actually get during the 2 hours? Well, we ended up getting about 382,000 XP. That's right, nearly 400,000 XP in just 2 hours. And now to be honest, this does sound really good and it makes me question if I had the timer on at all times and uh, well I sure hope I did but that means we got about 190,000 XP per hour and once again I do feel like this number isn't as accurate so maybe I ended up fishing for more than 12 hours so <laughs> there it was at the end of the day we managed to get about 1.7 million XP meaning on an average we got about 144,000 XP per hour 
Now, honestly, this is not too bad, but also let's take a look at how much money did we end up making. And well, as you guys can see, literally all these chests are full of loot. So let's do a quick sell of it all and see how much did we end up making. And yes, I think if I organized them all and made them into enchanted items, we could potentially make a little bit more. But honestly, it was already 12 painful hours and I'm not really planning to put another extra hour into reorganizing these chests. So here we go. Let's see how much did we make. Alright, so there we go from the basic loot that we just sold. We made... 2.1 million coins that's right 2.1 million coins which isn't really too good but isn't bad either now obviously we didn't count in the fairy sets which are pretty much worthless and the books which i don't think they have any value but now we do have a very special chest which is full of the shark fins, full of the emperor skulls and full of the shark tooth which is gonna be bringing us in quite a bit of money so let's go ahead and sell these and uh, let's see how much we're gonna make so let's begin actually with selling the teeth because well as you guys can see they go for 670,000 each so that's close to 2 million coins, which is about the amount that, uh, well, we got from selling the normal loot, which is <laughs> a bit crazy. But let's move on. Their shark tube are going for nothing. This is 305 coins. What? <laughs> Okay, then we have the blue shark tube which go for almost nothing as well 1000 coins and then finally the epic shark tube which are pretty much nothing as well which are 35,000 and then finally the shark fins which are pretty much nothing as well. <laughs> wow. Alright, but anyways last up we have the candies which are almost equivalent to nothing as well. Uh, but we still got like 150,000 from that, which is not too shabby. And finally, the Emperor Skulls, which are available on the Oxer House. And they seem to be about 175,000 per one. So that's close to 1 million coins right here, purely from the Emperor. So we gotta add that on top. So it seems like we ended up making 3 to 4 million coins in those 12 hours, which is honestly pretty freaking bad, because if I mine sugarcane for one hour straight, I would be getting about 3 million coins. But anyways, there it was. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on to see more, and you can click on the screen for another video. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.